Ordo. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, Never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Hey, man, grab those keys. Still not sure about leaving them like this. He came through with the mm -hmm. truck just like we asked. Mm -hmm. He greased his partner to make it look good. But if you got guns, mm -hmm. I'll take the chance. Mm -hmm. All right then, that's that. Goddamn. <laughs> Lincoln, pick up the keys.
You get a move on. Let's go. Town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. An old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We're on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you ass. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off. It's not a fault. It's not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. 